This is the golden age of animation. Uh, there's already a huge body of incredible work that's been done the last you know, 10, 15 years, but we're also on the, on the edge of going farther in the subject matter. I don't think there's any stories or subject matter that animation can't take on and deliver something entertaining, break new barriers artistically. All cultures have talking animal fables. It's a primal desire that they have wisdom and can speak. It's about time that in this country animation break through to all the other sorts of uh, stories. They uh, seem to be attracted to films that have uh, a journey between worlds, different views of reality. I guess I must be attracted to those sorts of stories. I probably do see the extraordinary in the ordinary, you know, almost. Um, that's how my imagination works. All great artists start with nature and life and studying real things. Picasso drew very realistically before he rejected that. Uh, so did Kandinsky, who um, some consider as the one who invented abstract Western art. So when you're out at a restaurant, you're also observing, uh, looking for characterizations, how someone holds a fork, teacup, something, something you might borrow for a character. Develop a sense of timing. That's where the classic silent comedians were brilliant. You go to see Wall-E, you see visual humor there of Wall-E trying to get that other robot to like him. And, so in the gestures and things he does, it's, it's like Charlie Chaplin, and it, and it works. And it's all about um, the timing from one pose to another, you know, fast to slow, how long are the pauses. And you know, you can study the silent films, you can study uh, Warner Brothers or, or the classic Disney films. Find a way to connect with reality and study it and never stop.